What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to the secrets of the Philippine peso. So this video was recommended to us in the comments section in a couple of video, uh, a couple of our different videos. It's yeah. been recommended. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, bank notes, we did an Australian dollar video yesterday. So go check that out after this video. Uh, but I think it's super cool how all these other countries have beautiful banknotes. And ours suck. And ours sucks. It's got cool artwork, to be fair. It's I mean, just it's got super a lot of basic. History. Yeah. Well, our, what bill is it that's going to be getting... Um, who was it? I don't remember. It's supposed to be changing to... We're supposed to have one that's supposed to be changing, like, drastically. Really? Yeah. I think it's the... The five no, the five dollar will never change. The one dollar will never change. As far as like the people on right, it, it's like the twenty. It's the twenty, and I just can't think of who they're putting on it. I think it's a woman. I just can't think of it. Well, let's hop in, check out the Philippine peso, and see what it's all about. Let's do it. You'd be right to call some of the world's banknotes a little boring or drab or unimaginative. Mm -hmm. My I'll be honest. Okay, though, out of this those one, those two are pretty dope. I think they all look good except for, well, the 50, and the 50 even, doesn't look bad. I didn't even think about the 50 though. We don't see a whole lot of 50s. Yeah, that's like a, I think the 50 is really the only one that has a little color to it. I I never noticed honestly. I didn't and either like though. And like what I said in the last in video person, that we did about it, it is um the last coin or bill that I really had. Yeah, I mean the 50 just in person it looks bland. Apologies for immediately offending yeah. about 1.3 billion people, but to someone who's drawn to colorful and shiny objects, That's cool, you've though. got to admit, these aren't exactly the most exciting banknotes in the world. The Philippine peso, however, is an explosion of color, That's featuring natural colorful. wonders, native wildlife, and historical figures. And in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at them and their hidden secrets. If you enjoy it, please consider subscribing. And as a little side note, I get tons of comments about the Philippine flag being wrong in this intro. It isn't wrong, it's just that when displayed vertically, the colors get flipped. Anyway, let's begin with the lowest denominator. Boom. Uh, so before we really hop into this, if you guys haven't already, this channel is super cool. Uh, if you're into this kind of stuff, subscribe. Uh, he makes some really good videos. Yeah, we really have been enjoying it. Yeah. The bright orange 20 peso. It sees the country's second president, Manuel L. Quezon, who also appears in the watermark and again That's in dope. this box on the top left. There's also this cool tilt effect up here, where if you tilt the note and get the angle just right, you can see yeah. the number 20. The background features a Malacanang palace, plus a historical scene of when Filipino was declared the national language in 1935. The reverse sees an Asian palm civet in the foreground, Some and the Banao Vice Terraces at the back. Now this banknote is fairly low value, approximately 32p, 40 US cents, or 36 euro cents. And with the amount of wear and tear they receive in circulation, it was recently deemed more cost effective to replace it with a coin. Hmm. Although I don't have one to show you, it retains Kezon's portrait from the banknotes, which are being slowly removed from circulation. Next comes a striking red 50 peso, featuring fourth president Sergio Osmeña, with an image of the country's first parliament on That's the cool. left, and of the Lite landing on the right the first steps towards the country's liberation in the Second World War. The background, as with all denominations, is made up of microprint text. That looks like it's raised. On the back can be yeah. seen a pair of giant Trevelli fish in front of Tar Lake, a crater Trevelli. lake within which is an active volcano, which itself has a smaller crater lake within. Like all the notes in this series, the featured species glows under UV light, and these random so flecks cool. oh, within the paper so different become than visible. The other. So far, like, out of the three, this is the most different from the other two. Yeah. And... It's not a bad different. I wouldn't even say it's a good different. I just think it's a different different. Yeah. It's just cool on its own. That's dope though. Whilst ordinary paper simply glows bright blue, oh, cool. and ordinary banknote paper doesn't glow at all. The Philippine peso has added these tiny oh, yeah, they did the strands same. We have the that. paper at yeah. the pop stage on the... as an additional security feature. Things the start to get really hand. interesting mm -hmm. with the 100 yeah. peso note. It features fifth president Manuel A. Rojas alongside the country's central bank to his left and a historical scene of the proclamation of the Third Republic on his That's right. Cool. The reverse features a Mayon volcano and a whale shark, which is a seriously cool animal to have on your currency. Yes, but when it, it was released, this note was deemed too similar in color to the all blue 1000 peso, particularly this middle section. 
Though it might seem easy to tell them apart here in perfect lighting, imagine you're a taxi driver working at night, or you work in a dark club or bar or somewhere. Yeah. It created enough problems to warrant a reissue of the note. Fully purple. Today both notes circulate mm. simultaneously, but the old style are no longer printed and Ooh, becoming increased. There's still a big difference yeah, though. Yeah, I don't think that, well, I don't think that would have actually helped me out if I was trying to see it. Like that little bit of difference of blue to just making it purple. Yeah. Like this would be a good bill to make a different well, size. Because one, one has three faces on it and one has one face on it. So I, I think there's a pretty big difference aside from the color. Like for me, I think the size of the bill might actually be a good idea in this situation. Yeah. Because it seems like a hundred versus a thousand is a huge difference. Yeah. Increasingly rare to find, but it certainly isn't the rarest peso note. That title goes to the 200 peso, often referred to as the $2 bill of the East. Mm. Although I couldn't find any reliable figures, this denomination is rarely seen in circulation, and many of the country's residents have never even seen one, and nobody wow. seems to know why. What's more, it's a note of very useful value, worth about four US dollars, and bridging the gap between the 100 mm. peso and the 500 peso, so it should rightfully be a very common banknote. If you know the so, reason, can you? Okay, so here in the U.S., the two-dollar bill is like it—it it, it really is. It's rare. Yeah. However, if I went and took a hundred dollars, I could go get fifty two-dollar from the bank. Yeah. From the bank. So, could y'all hypothetically take a some like a thousand peso uh, note and get it switched over to two hundreds? Yeah, like get five two hundred. Yeah, peso notes. Because you really don't see two dollar bills anywhere. Yeah, it's nobody usually ever, kind of like a gimmick. Nobody ever pays with them. It's always people hoard them and yeah, keep, them, keep like them. It, as if it's really any value. They still print them. Yeah. And you can literally go get hundreds of them if you want them. And that's what's weird, is you never see them. It, but you could always get them. Because it would be convenient. Like, if you just need to go get you a drink from the uh, Yeah, instead station, of putting a $1.75. Yeah, just throw them a $2 bill and get back a quarter. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, same concept, I guess. <laughs> Please let me know, as I've gone slightly mad trawling the web for answers. But anyway, it sees the country's ninth president besides the House of Independence and the Baraswain Church. Although these that's images cool. were slightly updated in 2017, the reverse features Atasia against a back... I like seeing the Tazia on the bill. Whenever he uh, had it lit up, it was like a bright drop green of the country's or gorgeous pink. chocolate yeah. hills. Next, it's a vivid yellow 500 peso, portraying the country's 11th and first female president, Corazon C. Mm. Aquino. Beside her is her husband, Senator Benigno S. Aquino Jr., who was assassinated in 1983. To the right is a statue in his honor, and on the left, a scene from the People Power Revolution that followed his death. Interestingly, it was dubbed the Yellow Revolution, since many protesters wore yellow ribbons, which explains the color of the note. And even more interestingly, the couple's son went on to become president himself and was in office oh, wow. at the time of the note's release. That's His crazy. signature yeah. can be seen to the right of the portraits. The reverse features a blue naped parrot and the... We say that's crazy, but... The, uh, the yeah, bushes. The bushes. <laughs> Puerto Princesa subterranean river. That's like the first time it's happened some controversy. States, though, right? Firstly, the parrot's beak and I feathers so. are incorrectly colored, later revealed to be a limitation of the printing method used. And then the little dot that indicates the river on the map of the Philippines oh, is cool. slightly incorrect. I mean, it's not exactly the biggest error in the world. I'm looking at you, Australia, and your $2.3 billion typo. <laughs> but then the 1,000 peso came oh, under wow. fire too. The front depicts three famously heroic figures Two, who died resisting the Japanese typo. occupation during World War That's II. Awesome. To the left are crowds celebrating the centennial of Philippine I see that occupation. Again. I'm sorry. The front Responsib is it responsibility? Yes. I, I think it's responsibility spelled incorrectly. There's supposed to be an E right there, right? right. Ah jeez. Ability. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, or an A. Hey, Google. <laughs> how do you spell responsibility? It's a good thing we didn't have to. T Y. Oh, the oh, I T Y. It's responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, it looks right. So there's supposed to be an I right here. Yeah. That's funny. 
I. But then the one figures. Who it's died funny, my dad's an Japanese editor, and I can't during pick World out those yeah. kind of things. To the left our crowd celebrating the centennial of Philippine independence in 1998. A South Sea. Because haven't you seen those little things? Like your brain can figure out how yeah. to read these things, and it's got like ones and backwards mm -hmm. letters and missing like yeah. major amounts of letters. And that's just how my brain works. It doesn't that's pull dope. things out. And there's lionfish on there. Yeah. That's super cool. I think that's my favorite. Yeah, as far as, as as far as what we've seen, we don't know if there's like a ten thousand yeah peso note. It's my favorite so far. Got a pearl. Pearl is featured on the reverse with the two Bataha Reefs National Park in the background. That's awesome. Including that is cool. Some cool looking beautiful fish and a sea turtle. Again, though, Dude. this denomination was criticised for the location of the map marker. Now this time the location is quite dramatically wrong, but the printers explained they moved it so it wouldn't interfere with this, a UV security mark of the featured species. That's cool. I what suppose is that? it oh, makes the sense, pearls. Yeah. but it would have made the... more sense to just not right. include a marker at all. <laughs> yeah. All six notes, it doesn't look like The province like of Botanets was entirely excluded from the map. Though again, this was a conscious huh. design choice, essentially cropped out since it was too far north. Despite these minor criticisms, the Philippine peso has truly joined the ranks as one so of the most thousand, beautiful, the interesting, note? and certainly colorful currencies on the planet. Not only do they detail significant events in the country's history, but they showcase the very best of its natural wonders and indigenous wildlife, mm -hmm. resulting in a series of notes that faithfully honor such a wonderful country. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I really like that. I think the thousand is my favorite just because of the artwork on it i only carry thousand peso notes yeah. i mean the artwork's beautiful on all of them uh but that last one i love the ocean and i love ocean wildlife and that's my favorite yeah i thought it was really cool um yeah if there are other currencies that y'all would like us to take a look at please let us know down in the description comment section but down in the description there it will be a uh there's a link, a link to our to Discord. Our Discord. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where there is a, a place for you to actually put suggested videos. That would be the easiest way for us to find it. Yes. And with that being said. My name is Miles. My name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.